The Premier, Mike Rann, has agreed to step down and hand over to Education Minister Jay Weatherall. Mr Rann on Friday denied that he'd been asked by faction leaders to make way for Mr Weatherall, but late today he said the decision had been made, but he wouldn't be going just yet. ABC political reporter Nick Harmson joins us now live. Nick, how have events unfolded today? Well, Anita, since the ABC broke this story yesterday afternoon, we've seen a flurry of phone calls and negotiations involving the Premier and senior Labor Party officials. A lot of, the mention, a lot of mention of the words respect and dignity and discussions about how Mike Rand can extricate himself from this situation with some dignity. Now, we understand Mr Rand, uh, in a statement late today, has indicated that he will hand over the reins to Jay Weatherall, but not before he does a couple of things first. A premier in waiting. I'll have a chat to you in a sec. Just let me get the girls in the car. A backroom coup has delivered the education minister Jay Weatherall the numbers. I'm pleased that, that people are uh, choosing to to offer their support for me. Of course. All he needs is a vacancy. The best way of dealing with it is to to reach agreement. Uh, that would be a good thing for uh, the Labor Party, but also for the state. The treasurer Jack Snelling and union leader Peter Malinowskis delivered the message to Mike Rann on Friday that Mr Weatherall had consensus support. That night, the Premier was defiant. I, I think that you need to check on your, your sources. I have absolutely no intention of retiring. This morning, the Treasurer didn't deny he'd told the Premier to leave. If I've got something to say, I'll talk to you later today. But late today, after speaking with Mr Rann, the denial emerged. There was also some talk about the timing of such a transition, but can I make absolutely clear that there was no ultimatum delivered to the Premier at any stage of that meeting. Soon after, the Premier issued a statement acknowledging that Jay Weatherall would succeed him and pointing to an announcement on his return from a trip to India. Mr Rann wants to complete negotiations with BHP Billiton over the Olympic Dam mine before he goes. That's expected to happen in September or October. His downfall may not be as swift as some former Labor leaders, but the comparisons can and will be made. Julia Gillard from the left uh, put into her position by the faceless union people of the right uh, because they saw that as their best chance of winning the next election. There are a lot of Labor leaders uh, uh, who are very insecure in their positions at the moment. None has the experience of Mike Rand, 16 years as leader and nine as Premier. He should and of course will be given the opportunity to leave with dignity and that's the right thing to do. Mike Rand of many Labor leaders certainly deserves to be treated with a great degree of respect and dignity. People should behave respectfully, I always have, and others should too. One man's respect is another's treachery. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide. So Nick, when are we likely to see this handover take place? Well, the key date, and perhaps uh, Mike Rand's reigning glory, will be this Olympic Dam uh, indenture legislation, which is expected to go before the Parliament in September or October. So it's clear that's when Mike Rand wants to stay around until. And interestingly, the uh, Treasurer, Jack Snelling, in his statement said the timing is now a matter for the Premier. I suppose the question is whether that time frame is now acceptable to Jay Weatherall as the leader in, in waiting. Now, on the subject of retirements, the uh, government's former leader in the Upper House, Paul Holland, Holloway announced his retirement on Friday. Uh, his replacement is yet to be finalised, but we understand the right faction frontrunner is Labor uh, union organiser Jerry Candelas. Thank you for that, Nick.